Hello. This may not sound like your typical morning. But for volunteers here at the Save the Animals Rescue Foundation, it's the norm. The two-acre facility is currently home to more than 200 orphaned or injured Long Island animals in need of assistance. And with so many animals, volunteers stay busy by just feeding and feeding and feeding the displaced wildlife alone. Right now, I am feeding the red-tailed hawk mice. I'm force feeding him because he is not eating because he is in ca captivity. Um, he came in as a head trauma. He is getting stronger by the day. Volunteers also care for the countless deer, birds, rodents, reptiles, and even prairie dogs, all in need of loving homes. We specialize in the animals that have nobody, they don't, they're own, not owned by anybody, so there's nobody going to bring them in to be taken care of when they're hurt. So we take care of those, and we take care of the exotic animals that people get as pets and then realize they made a mistake and they need to get rid of them. Animals like Coda, a wolf who was living in Queens as a cub. When his owner realized Coda could not be kept like an ordinary dog, he was taken to Star, where he became a permanent resident. Star has provided a safe haven for orphaned animals for almost 20 years. But many of Star's animals cannot be released back into the wild, like Bob, a long-eared owl, so they use him for educational purposes. With so many animals in need, Star recognizes the importance of educating Long Islanders about conservation and preservation of our wildlife. And all Star's volunteers work toward one very rewarding goal. Being able to raise a baby and get it to be wild and go back out and have another chance at life or finding something broken and watching it fly off again. Megan Fitzgerald, Long Island Report.